What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stevie the Black. It's S T E V W E the Black. I'm back, and I'm here to give you my final NFC East report of the year. That's right, you heard me. I said final because there has been a division winner. It's official. It's wrapped up. Dallas is the winner. We knew this from, like, back in, like, week four or five or we knew once Dallas took control of the division and they got in first place, we knew it was pretty much a wrap and Dallas was going to run away with this division. Like, we knew this. We knew this. Every other team in the division was trash up until the Eagles got their act together. So, congratulations, Dallas. You are NFC East champs. It's not like we didn't know this. It's not like we didn't know this. Um, so, one final time, I'll go over everything. I'll even say the opponents for the next week. But this will, like I said, be the last NFC East report until next season. So here we go. At the bottom of the division, at 4 and 11, are the New York Giants who just got that butt whooping from the Philadelphia Eagles. If you want to know more on that, check out my video. I posted on my review. It will be on the channel. Uh, next week, they got the Bears. Um, I don't know. Hey, no better present. No better New Year's present, I suppose. Then Nick Foles handing the the Giants another L if he plays. So do it for us one more time, Nick. Say Nick. All right. Uh, coming in third place is the Washington football team who got demolished, embarrassed, mollywop, whatever you want to say, by the Dallas Cowboys. It was over in the first quarter. Dallas beat them. I think they dropped four touchdowns on them in the first quarter alone. Like, they were scoring like nothing, bro. Like, it was unbelievable. I was at the theater. I was like, let me just take a quick glance at the game real quick. I said, oh, dang. It's already 21 to 0? It's only been less than 10 minutes. What the heck? Like, you know how fast you got to be scoring? I think one of them was a pick six, I think. But, I mean, still, like, it was it was over. Like, wow. Um, I thought Dallas was going to drop 60 on him. And I'm pretty sure they tried to drop 60 on him. They just, you know, didn't get the job done. But, you know, I, <laughs> Dallas, you said Dallas is, I said it from the very beginning. Dallas has felt different this year from the moment I watched them play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the opening. They, it, they just, they felt different, you know. And, you know, whether or not they're a Super Bowl contending team, I don't know. You know, they're going to have a run for their money in the playoffs. But, hey, they they look real good. It was never in doubt. Even when they were struggling, even when they were losing three games in a row, I was never worried. I knew they were going to be fine. They were going to come back and win it. And that's exactly what happened. And Washington, maybe you got the will beat out of you because that would help. Think if Dallas, if y'all beat the will out of them, I appreciate it. So then we could just go there on Sunday and finish them off. So... You know, thank you for that. You hope to screw the Giants in the in the draft. And then you're helping us put the finishing touches on the Washington football team. Appreciate it. Although we got to finish the job ourselves. But, hey, get start. you got them ready for it. That's all I can say. Uh, then in second place at 8-7, and seven, your Philadelphia Eagles on a three-game win streak. Like I said, coming off beating the New York Giants in a glorious fashion all in the second half. But... Like I said, if you want to know more on that, just check out my video from earlier. And then finally, the Dallas Cowboys sitting atop the division at 11-4. Clinched the division before the game even started because the Raiders beat the Broncos. That really doesn't make any sense to me. Someone explain to me how that makes sense to me because Dallas lost to both those teams. Again, make that make sense to me. I don't know. If you know the reason why, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but yeah. So they got the Cardinals, and they've been slipping lately. You know, Dallas is going for the number one seed, but uh, Green Bay pretty much got an easy wrap. Like, they got Minnesota, and you know they're going to want revenge for losing earlier, and I think they got the Bears after that. No, they don't got the Bears. They got the Lions. And uh, you know that's pretty much a wrap. Like, hey, that's a wrap. They get the number one seed unless Minnesota knocks them off. So your really only chance is Minnesota, but I know they want revenge for losing to Minnesota. So it'll be interesting to see. Plus, them losing to Minnesota, also beating them beating Minnesota, 
helps us as well. So it keeps y'all from getting the number one seed. And it helps us secure the seventh seed, which secures us facing each other off at the playoffs. Which, like I said, you know you want this. I want this. You want this. The NFL wants this. The fans want this. Let's make it happen, right? But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the NFC East videos this year. They were pretty popular. You know, I'm going to keep this thing going. Uh, so I'm glad you guys all enjoyed it this year. I enjoyed doing them. I didn't, there were a couple times I did forget, you know, that's on me. But again, I enjoyed going over the division. I enjoyed watching each team when the Eagles weren't playing that day or later on in the day or whatever. So that's pretty much it for the 2021 NFC East report. I'll see you back in the 2022 season where hopefully the Philadelphia Eagles will be winning the division and not the Dallas Cowboys. But until next time, and if you're not down with that, I've just got three words for you. Fly goes fly. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.